Hello, this is BJ Arnett with This Day with BJ Arnett. I've been talking to a wonderful, uh, just anointed woman of God, Kim Crabell. I just need you to understand that this woman has a word for you. And we're talking about our position as women and how incredibly powerful the position is and how we shouldn't be afraid of it. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, I mean, God is such a God of order mm -hmm. and he has placed every, all of us in the order in which he wants us to. We just are fearful of it because we don't understand the order. We, we don't, don't understand, understand the order. Means. Exactly. You know, I, I often talk to women mm -hmm. that say, well, you're married. I, you, uh, you have a husband. You have a covering. Well, when I wasn't married, I had a, a husband and I had a covering. His name was Jesus. Right. Same thing. But, but now I understand the divine order is God the Father, Jesus Christ's son, my husband, myself, my children. I don't put my children over my Jesus, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I can't put my husband under my children. Right, right. I, I have to move in right order. And I think in today's society, we're seeing so many things that tell us how not to be in order mm -hmm. and that is actually not empowering to be in order? Mm -hmm. We're so scattered. Our, our thinking is so scattered. We, I don't think that we're in the Word enough to really understand what things are. And I think the word submit it, it is just so fearful. It just Oh, it, it's become a cuss word. Oh, oh that's right. Truly. And when you go back, and even, even in the beginning when Jesus, uh, I mean, when God created man and, and woman, he said, you know, he looked at Adam. He goes, it's not good for you to be to alone. Be alone. <laughs> so he proclaimed the first problem before there was ever a first sin. That's it. It's, this is not. And so he says, so I will create a help meet for you. Mm -hmm. Well, somehow through the, the generations, isn't it true that we've saw that as a subservient type we of We saw role, that as less than. Less than, insignificant. Yes. I, I serve. Yes. Showing up for duty. Um, you know. And that's not the way at all. I, listen. If it were that way, God would not tell me to be strong and exactly. have courage, right? Exactly. That's right. That's so right. So as women, it's okay for us to be strong and, and have um, have our own ministries and, and have our own mind and our own thinking. That's exactly right. But it's the order. It's the order. We have to be okay with the fact that we were made separately but made purposefully yeah. and that we are equally loved by God. Yes. And that word actually means, I looked it up in, just to make sure that I didn't forget in the, in the Hebrew, that, that help me means a, a strong person, a companion, a companion, a rescuer. A rescuer. And so God put us together. Now, we know women have an intuition that God gave us that men sometimes, we, we, we uh, complement one another. We complement one another. And that's, that's the design of the mm -hmm. marriage. Mm -hmm. Not that one is, is stronger or more or blessed. Better. Or, that's right. Mm -hmm. It's that we complement one another mm -hmm. as long as we stay in the order. That is, that's the key, is in the order. When we get outside of the order, we get outside of our, our, our realm of protection. When we were talking the other day, we talked about the umbrella yes. that, of God. Yes. There's this umbrella that's above us and we're walking together. Well, when we get outside of the umbrella in the natural and it's raining, we get wet. Stay under the umbrella of God, the will and the way of God together as we're walking. Now, when we're separated by uh, time and space, we should still be together because we're still testifying of the will and the way of God. Yes. So that keeps us always aligned. We're never outside of power because we never unplug from the most powerful. That's right. That's right. Glory be to God who by his power at work within us, God has put power, purpose, passion within each and every one of us, man, woman, teen. I mean, we're all born with a plan, mm -hmm. but I love the umbrella uh, analogy because, you know, if you are like it or not, when Eve sinned, and we go all the way back to Genesis, he, God didn't call Eve. No, he didn't. He went looking for Adam. He went looking for the head. That's right. And so, and so many women find that like insignificant or make them feel less. To me, it's like it's my protection. Now, for it's, those who don't have it. that husband, right. like you said, God is. God but is. But for those of us who do, don't fight over who's holding the umbrella, <laughs> right? <laughs> 
<laughs> I love that. That's it. Yeah. Don't fight over who is holding the umbrella. Stay Be under, under the yes. umbrella. Yes. So we could just get that and stop trying to pull the other one off the pedestal that God has made for us because he made a pedestal for us to sit together on. Yes. He made this, this throne, if you will, for us to be together on. He made a position for us to be together on. And to, 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 to really think about it, he expects us in this natural realm, we're going to pass away from the body. Yes. But, but according to how we steward this time in this body, there is an expectation to come back and rule and reign with the Father according to what he has ordained. Absolutely. So this is like preparation this time for us, This is preparation right? time for us. And we are not angelic beings that go up into heaven and come back with wings. Right. That, yes, right. And, right. and so right now in our preparation time, and I love the thought that you have given this segment about order because God is such a God of order, and when he... When he told us, you know, to be strong and of good courage. Be strong, BJ. There was be a strong. reason. But that, that's right. And it mm -hmm. funnels through, you know, the Bible talks about rightly dividing his word. Mm -hmm. We, and I used this in our first segment, and I love this word. It, be, it would behoove us to understand what these words in the Bible really mean. Mm -hmm. Because when we're strong, but strong is like meekness. Meekness is strength under control. And you, ha you filter, rightly dividing, you're filtering out the, the strength of God. You filter it through the fruit of the Spirit. Yes. You filter it through what love is, right? Yes. These are all God lenses. Yes. Not man lenses. Yes. We've got to see things through God's lenses. That's, this is God. And you we got to see, them on and you got to like put them on just That's like right. that. You put them on our because we're carnal beings. Yeah. So our carnal being is always going to look through it carnally yes. unless we put on our lens, the of, lens Christ. of Christ. Yes. And boy, how we can see things more clearly, right? We can see things more clearly, and we can actually be the example of clarity oh, to yes. those who are watching. That's the then key. Then our children and our children's children will be blessed according to That's the what. Key. Not what we say. Yes. It's not what we say right. in front of our, our our young people that shifts them. It's what we do. What we do, that's exactly right. That's what they're going to remember. And the Bible tells us in Psalms that we can become a voice of hope mm -hmm. into the next generation. Mm -hmm. And that's what, that's what they're going to remember. Yes. And they're going to see that. And I love what you said. What we're doing today, yes, it's about us. Mm -hmm. But it's just as much about mentoring to yes. those around us to, in our future generation. In our future generation. I think that's why God put it on our hearts so many months ago to speak out to women in leadership. Yes. And to say, be proud of the fact that God placed you out here to be a leader. Yes. But know that you are a leader under yes. the umbrella that God has given. Absolutely. I love 1 Corinthians 16, 13, where it says, be on guard, stand firm in your faith. Don't stand firm in a denomination or a political uh, Agenda, persuasion. Agenda, a persuasion. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be courageous, be strong, do everything in love. So we be, be all these things so that we can do things in love. And that's, in that's love. the right order. It's the right order. You know, when, when I think about the, the powerful women throughout history yes. that we have been like, oh my God, amazing. Yes. I think about a Harriet Tubman yes. and what it, what it took to walk out and lead people. Yes. In darkness, no lights, no microwave, no phone, right. no cell phone, right. no communication that we understand, and lead people out of a dark, dark situation in the natural dark. I'm like, what? How do you do that? Yeah. When, I, when I think about women who literally went to war si alongside men in order to be the help to those broken bodies when they came... When I think about the Western woman, yes. oh my God, I'm like, I could have never. But look at all the women before us who did amazing things. And you said something at the beginning of the segment I think that we need to take note of. You were talking about the power of a woman in our position and the influence that we have. Mm -hmm. And do you know on the battlefields, they say that as, as our, our military men are late dying on the battlefields, what, who are they calling out to? Their moms. Mamas. Their moms. Their mamas. That's the influence. That's the power that we have. That, that we have to humble ourselves mm -hmm. and to be able to live that out and let God live that through us. We are not 
insignificant creatures. We are not weak. We are not subservient. We are warriors of Christ. We are warriors of Christ. That we can Christ. show to this world, you know, who Jesus is through us. That's it. And not be a woman of the world, but mm -hmm. truly be a woman of the word. And I thank you for being such a mentor to so many people. And, you know, you we're iron sharpening iron. That's and I it. love our talks. I do too. Because I know it's you're so in fun. the word. And That's it. And it means a lot to me. It, it, it is important that we as women who understand that we are daughters of the Most High God. Absolutely. We're his daughters. We're his princesses. I, I often hear women say, I just want to receive my roses now. Yes. And I think your ministry does that. Yes, yes. It, receiving your roses now is a part of being who God called you to be. Mm -hmm. You are powerful beyond measure. Mm -hmm. You are equally loved by God yes. as, as, as your husband is. Yes. But but he's called you to do a special thing, yes. just like he's called the man to do a special thing. Every one of us. And when we do it together, it's outstanding. That's one of the things that I love to do, BJ, and that's what my ministry is all about, is helping women be restored to who they are in Christ. Yes. Because if you can help them go through those pains, that shame, that guilt, that regret, you and I have done it with thousands of women. Yes. When you help someone, a woman know who she is in Christ, you can't defeat her. You can't because defeat Christ her. Christ is in her, and, and she will stand in that And day. she will stand. And, and the power of God is so in her yes. that she can't help but burst out. Yes. Oh, I read something the other day. We should be... We should be anchored in Christ, but we should also let Christ be anchored in, in us. us. You know, mm, I like that. I do too. I and, like and all, that. And that only happens through the Word. That's on, the only way. When some days when I'm in the Word, and and there's, you know, <laughs> you know, sometimes we go to the Word when we feel like our butts on fire. Mm -hmm. But how about let's just go there on a regular, so that there is no fire. Yes. Ah. Yes. So that there is no fire, yes. because it's our perspective, our mindset that must change. We are warriors of. Christ Jesus, yes. so there is nothing that can take us out if our mindset is corrected. The We've, mindset of Christ. If the mindset is of Christ. Yes. I look forward to April when we are uh, yes. getting involved with this wonderful leadership summit that we're going to be doing. Lead up. Lead up. And look you, it up. And, and UP stands for in his, uh, in his ultimate power. We're going to lead. We're going to remind women that leadership is not what they're reading on social media. It's what we see in the Word. It's That's persevering. It. And it's loving when it's the unlovable. It's standing against the tide of the world. And I, I am so, what we have, what, 10, ten power women. powerful women. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. And that power means that they have walked through a, 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 a tremendous amount. Yes. And they've come out on the other side, and they're able to say, thus saith the Lord. Yes. yes. And I love it. Yes. And I love it. I'm looking forward to that moment where we can all get together. And you can get together with us on this, because there's something that you need to be filled with. Yes. What you need to be filled with is the love of God. We want to just give you that love that was given to us, Kim and I. Mm -hmm. and, and there's... Ten other women who are going to just love lavishly on you. Take the opportunity to go to uh, Roses and Rainbows Ministry, Inc., and take the opportunity to get to know Kim more. We'll be the ones who will just stand by your side, whether we see you or not. We're praying for you always. I'm B.J. Arnett with Kim Crabell. God bless you. Have a wonderful, 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 wonderful day.